Hello gorgeous. My name is Dusty and this is the Scorpio Priestess. If you would like a personal reading, you can do that by visiting ScorpioPriestess.com. If you would like to enter to win a half hour FaceTime reading, you can do that by liking, subscribing, and commenting blessing. We are going to see what is coming towards you in love. This is for all zodiac signs. A risk. A love that involves great risk. Somebody here is coming towards you and it may be a bit risky, a romantic getaway. Your hard work will be rewarded. There's some kind of um, situation that may be risky, but if you all work together, if you stay working as a team, it could go very well. Coming closer to falling in love, romantic um, success here. Falling in love, someone likes you, early stages. You could be in the early stages or meet someone very soon that's going to um, open your heart space up again. There's some success achieving the impossible. You could be in the honeymoon phase with someone. You could have just meant them or a reconciliation and you all will be in that honeymoon phase of Everything feels really good. It feels so great to have them back in your life. That could be happening right now. There could be some kind of fertility. So make sure if you're not looking to have children that you are protecting yourself now more than ever because it looks like there could be a lot of fertility over the next few weeks and months. Somebody could definitely get pregnant. You could be in a long distance relationship. What is this love that take, that will require a risk here? Um, some of you, you are in a romantic situation with somebody from your past at a distance. Some of you are reconnecting with a person that you have children with. Um, Y'all could live in different homes right now. There's somebody that feels really regretful coming on in. This person has an apology for you. Um, it, it, it feels like it would be really risky. Some of you feel like getting back together is taking a risk because this person has hurt you in the past or in the past you've had a lot of fighting and a lot of arguing and you would have to change a lot about your life now to invite them back in. You could have moved away. You could have relocated in the middle of this um, breakup, this separation, and this person may be reaching back out soon or you could be hearing from you could have already heard from them um, th whoever's coming towards you this person feels like they have a lot at stake they could be in the middle of a divorce or they could be getting ready to leave somebody that they haven't quite left yet so just be aware of that but with that being said who is this I like you you could have more than one person coming um, some of you have an ex could have a lot of Aquarius in their chart, this new person um, that's in your energy. And then you have somebody that you have been casually dating that you could have met in Leo season. This person could be a Leo. They could have a lot of Leo in their chart. Be careful of fighting and arguing, bickering about things that really do not matter. You could have a lot of people around you trying to keep you stuck or not wanting you to take this risk. You could have met somebody recently that's 20 years older, younger, lives at a distance. There's something about this relationship that um, is risky. This new relationship, most likely it's just that you all are at a distance and you would have to relocate for a real relationship for you all to be in uh conventional relationship maybe you don't like conventional relationships perhaps this person doesn't whatever the case is here you could have been on a short break from this person and had some kind of disconnection in leo season and it's getting ready to manifest back in this new person coming into your life could have a lot of fire in their chart 
very, I felt fi this fiery energy, very quick, very fast, lots of communication. If you haven't met this person yet, you will in the next eight weeks. There's someone new that you are due to me. This person could um, work where you work, could be friends with one of your friends. You could be introduced. Why? It's going to be like a tower moment. Some of you have been single for a long time. You've been single now for a few years, and it's going to feel like a tower moment when you meet this new person. They could have a lot of Scorpio, Aries, or Sag in their chart. This is a really fiery person. They could be a Scorpio, Sag, Cusper like me. I really am... I have five placements in Scorpio, but I must say that I do embody a Sagittarian energy a, a lot of the times when it comes to certain things. Um, I like change, for example. I'm not fixated on one thing. I'm actually really happy I have a beautiful blend of water and fire. Um, some of you may meet someone who has been born anywhere from you know November 19th till November 24th you could have already meant this person um, it's been moving really slow you could have been out on many dates but you have just recently meant someone new or you've been healing from this betrayal you could be suffering from betrayal trauma so you're finding it hard to trust right now or you're you may find it hard to trust this new person or anybody new for that matter and if that's going on just know that um, it's something a trigger that you may need to work on if you meet someone new and you have a hard time trusting them it's because of whatever betrayal you have went through in the past this new person coming in is somebody that will be really fun someone that you could have union with celebration community with this new person is really going to make you believe in love again you could see 11-11 a lot. You could start, um, you know, really seeing a lot of angel numbers. This new person coming into your life is, it, you're going to fall in love. They're going to want to date you, to court you. And the courting process is so important so you can get to know one another and you have the ability to get out when you see red flags opposed to jumping in with both feet and then you're so deep in that it's hard to get out when the red flags come this is a situation where it's going to require dedication to healing it's going to require you to really dedicate a lot of time energy and effort to your healing to move away from this past person that hurt you and have a healthy, happy connection with the new person coming in. There's a lot of fun. There's a lot of flirting. But tell me about this past person that seems to be at a distance or they're on a break with. You know, they're coming out of um, Hangman. This person could have been my... I, these cards, I have to wet my finger. I cannot get a good shuffle on these cards if I don't. So please forgive me. This person is really burdened. Whatever they have done here to you, yeah, they are dealing with some kind of addiction, codependency here. This person is, is super burdened by how the relationship ended in the past. They're coming out of this place of stagnation. Wanting, there's a lot of movement now. There's a lot of movement in the next few weeks. They're actually moving back towards you they could have been um stuck in a place of not knowing what they want and so they haven't been reaching out or they could have told you that they didn't know what they want and that that's that's hard because that's essentially saying then you don't know if you want me um, and they seem to be burdened by whatever they said to you or however one of your last encounters went. It may not have been good. You could have had some kind of argument or fight. They may be dealing with some addictions or just bad toxic behavior, materialism. 
I'm walking away from toxic situations. This person wants to walk away from whatever they're involved with. I get excited every time I see you. It's hard for me to trust people. And meeting you was the best thing that's ever happened to me. Meeting you was was life-changing for me. This person is trying to break free of from this devil energy. They're trying to walk away from toxic situations and people in their life. You could be involved with a cancer. You're going to have a decision to make. Those that are on a break from a past lover, you could meet someone new and really start to fall in love. There will be a blooming love. Others, maybe it's a blooming love in a reconnection. You know, when we reconnect, we've got to fall back in love with one another. We have to start from the beginning. If 10% of relationships make it after a breakup for that reason, we're just the same people doing the same things, you know, courting one another and learning, falling in love with each other again will be super important and powerful to this connection. I hope everyone has the most beautiful and blessed day. Love and light.